That was a little taste of a band called XY with their version of Titanium, by the way. I just had to. Alright, so. What we are going to do now, folks. Is I'm actually going to. Unplug my headset. So you can actually hear this better. And we're going to do a live EVP. As soon as I can get the stupid thing open. Okay. One second. Okay, here we go. Who, who's here right now? Who's here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he said you. <laughs> okay, what's your name, you? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Terry? Hi, Terry. Are you from around here or are you passing through it? You left? I 
I see. So you were from around here, but you left, and now you're back. anybody else here? Just you? Okay. You got anything you want to pass on? Like a message? You said princess. Did someone just say son? Is that you guys? Yeah, Dad, I'm here. If you guys are hearing that, like as clearly as I am, but um, I'm definitely getting two different male voices here whoever this Terry person is, and my dad. Um, which I, I know is my dad because I've actually used this app on the show no less to talk to my dad before and it's the same voice and it seems like every time I, I do this and I'm using this app on my show he shows up but um, the reason, the reason is that uh, I'm just doing short sessions like that is because you're not supposed to do really long ones with these apps um, you can kind of burn them out and uh, uh, cause issues if like the, the file lengths are too big so uh, it's best not to even mess with it and just do short like first sessions It's definitely interesting that um, my dad is here. And I'm interested in Terry. Terry is as well. I, I, I never heard of Terry before. The only Terry I know personally is I'm an uncle, but as far as I know, he's still alive. So. I don't know, I, I'm not really that close with that part of the family, but... Last I heard. So, I don't know if this guy's related in some way, or... He's just passing through, or... I, I don't know what the deal is. But, I guess we're going to find out. Now I'm going, I was... Uh, by the way, the, the app that I'm using is called the GV1, or the Ghost Box 1. It's invented by a good friend of mine, 
named Danny who owns Big Bird Audio. Um, so, if you, if you want to check it out, you can uh, either go to like like your app stores. It's available on both iPhone and uh, uh, Android. Um, you can find it in the Google App Store as well. Um, he made the GV1, the SV1, which is the Spirit Box. Uh, the Echo Box, which uh, Reagan likes to use. And uh, a few other nifty little uh, ghost hunting apps. And they're, they're all like, they're not, they're not phony apps at all. They're, they're the real deal. Uh, Danny is an avid ghost hunter. He would not make junk. Um, in fact, he's about the only guy who makes apps that, that I trust. Um, but I'm going to use another, uh, app right now called Spirit Voice. And, uh, hopefully what's going to happen is what we're going to hear is just the voice. It'll cut out all the, the white noise. So here we go. Okay, guys, are you still here? Is that Terry? Okay, I'm hearing a female. Who's the female that's here? Did you say ghost wolf? talking to me or are you talking to each other? Both? Both? Okay. okay. So, who all's here? What's the lady's name? Beth? Hi, Beth. area. about you guys but I'm not making an all of it out but I'm, I am picking up on some words and small phrases um, um, I thought I just heard, heard her say something about die who, who are you saying to die
Dave? Who's Dave? I think I'm picking up on something here that I want to get into when we take a break again. Did you say something about Joe? Which Joe? Joe James? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I kind of know. <laughs> um, this just got interesting. Okay, well, hang on, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, the, wow. <laughs> um, I, I made it a point when I first started doing this show that I was not going to use it as a platform to uh, be all negative about my former team before I started Ghost of Paranormal. And I'm still not planning to do that. However, um, I will say this, the reason I left that team in large part was because of Joe James. So I find it very funny that they're talking about Joe James and the things they're saying to me sound very positive. Um, I'm not going to repeat what I heard, but let me just say some four letter words were just used as well as die. Uh, was said repeatedly I, I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions on that um, anyways and the, the, the thing that I picked up on this is it's not something I've heard it, it's not like an EVP I just heard or anything like that it's just a, a, like a sense I guess I picked up on um, I think that, that what's going on here is uh, the spirits around here know that, that uh, evil can't really penetrate my house. Um, I have it all sealed up and protected and and all that stuff because I, I honestly I just don't need the drama in my home 
so uh, I went on my way to, to put protections all over the house so uh, with the exception of the one time one came in found like a chink in the armor so to speak and weasel his way in here uh, a lot of you guys already already heard the EVP from that uh, that said do not call for help blah 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 and I kicked its ass on out of my house um, but what I think is going on is because these spirits kind of know that that uh, you know this place is safe and that uh, you know a lot of ghosts travel through here that uh, they're kind of using it as kind of like a meeting place like neutral ground um, to talk about stuff um, that's just I I don't know that for sure it's just that, like this like I said it's just like the sense that I get and yes uh, Rita just said that uh, uh, referring to Joe James he is the reason we met uh, yes and no um, Actually, uh, he's not the reason we met. The reason we met actually was, uh, had nothing to do with Joe, really, other than he was the one who kind of set up that ghost hunt at, at the Chase building, that first one we did when I was still with them. Uh, really, though, the reason we met was because of Greg. Because if it weren't for Greg uh, asking me to tag along, I would have never been there. So really you can blame Greg for that. Any of you. Um, I'm going back to the ghost box because Even though there's the white noise and stuff, I, I think it comes across a lot less choppy. So, there you go. Um, I may have missed the settings just a little bit. Are you guys still talking about that? Definitely not repeating that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I, I asked if they're still talking about he who shall not be named <laughs> and uh, what I just heard was was well first I heard the female say die again I think that's like her favorite word or something and then I heard the other male voice go uh, well I hope you, none of you have kids around because I'm going to repeat exactly what he said but he goes fuck him So, yeah. <laughs> um, don't quite know what to do with that. <laughs> Alright, anyways, here we go.
Okay, do you guys want to talk to me now? Okay, so they're mainly talking to each other, so I want to I want to try something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to roll on my digital recorder right now. I'm going to ask five questions, and then I'm going to play it back. What are the names of the people that are here? Is there anything you would like us to know or messages to pass on? How many people are here? Do you know the names of anyone who's listening? And if so, can you say their name? Okay, so let's see what we got. I'm going to roll on my digital recorder right now. I'm going to ask five questions. And then I'm going to play it back.
Is there anything you would like us to know or a message you want us to pass on? Okay, so nothing. Big eggshell. I don't think they're really interested in talking to me at the moment. Which, you know, happens. So, what I think I'm going to do... Is... some more stuff because uh, this one's kind of funny So I'm going to play some other EVPs that we've captured over the over the years. Um, this one, I'm I'm not even going to set it up. I'm just going to going to play it, and then we'll talk about it because um, I think it should be pretty obvious what it says. I got is a male spirit saying you got taste um, the funny thing about this is this particular EVP was actually taken um, uh, not this last February but uh, the February of the previous year um, as kind of like a late Christmas gift to uh, my team, I took them all to Brown Ella Cottage. And this is one of the ones that we caught there. That we believe is probably Bishop Brown. 
So let me play that again. That's better. That's better. So, <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Needless to say. Okay, this next one, this is the one I was telling you about where uh, uh, the one time anything like negative managed to weasel its way into my house. And uh, the thing to note about this is this is before I got the Ghost Fox app or, or the Spirit Box or any of those. Uh, I was just kind of fooling around with one of the, the phony ones. And it's not even supposed to say full phrases, much less this weird sound it makes at the end. So here, give, give a listen. When all this happened, it, it, I'll be honest, it creeped me out a little bit. I uh, wasn't really afraid, per se, but, you know, on edge, I guess, would be a better term for it. As I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, this one, I know everybody's heard, uh, with the exception of maybe Rita. I don't know if she's heard this one yet. This is uh, the one that's it's become kind of like my favorite and and uh, one of my more well-known ones. This is from Alexander Commons here in Barwood, and uh, this was our one investigation there so far, and we weren't even like ten minutes into it. We just started when I when I saw something, and you hear me. Anybody else saw it, and then this female voice comes through that wasn't any of us, so give a listen and see if you get what it says. That's so great. We're here to listen. Uh, okay. Did anybody else see that? Yes. definitely without a shadow of a doubt is uh, you hear Nora go uh, you know feel free we're here to listen referring to you know EVPs sorry about that I had to put the headphones back on um you hear Nor say we're here to listen, referring to EVPs. Then you hear me go, uh, okay, did anybody else see that? And right after I say that, what I hear is a female voice say, come and find me, I'm in the building. So let's listen to that again. Did 
Anybody else see that? Yes. Okay, so I I have one more to play for you guys, and this will like take me out. This will, will I'm gonna let it play, and this will be the end of the show. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Love you guys. Um, you're awesome. Uh, don't forget to tune into my show Wednesday night, same time, same place for. Uh, well, it's going to be paranormal news, basically. Uh, and it's also going to be paranormal true crime. So it's going to be an interesting show. And I think you'll like it because there's some updates to some stuff we've discussed before. Um, and until next time, my tribe, my pack, peace out. Oh, one thing just to kind of set this up. Um, this was at the old gas company in Mansfield, which we lovingly nicknamed the Fire Factory. Uh, it's just right. It's just literally right down the street from the Fire Museum. So here we go. Is that you, Edward? 